While America mourns your retirement from investigative journalism, we suspect your new life as a columnist here in New York City will be far from dull. <laughs> I hope that's true. Be careful what you wish for. How have you been filling in time since your very emotional final story? Moving to Manhattan, obviously. Um, catching up with old friends. You've exposed dangerous criminals, taken on the role of crusader for countless orphan children, and brought much needed voices to women in crisis in Ghana and Sudan. How you doing, Josie? Do you think you'll be able to settle into life out of investigative journalism? I'll miss the field, but I'm ready for a change. Are you okay? My last story was... Take your time. My last story was difficult. The dog fighting ring. This is the catalyst for your retirement? Yes, it was. What happened? Sparks, grown-up feeling. Ancient history, Liv. Come on, he's still hot. I'm just saying. Hey! <laughs> it's so good to see you. Woohoo! Woo <laughs> All right. Oh, come on. Good girl. Good girl. Hey. <laughs> Hi, dudes. This isn't gonna unpack itself. You like? I'm starting to wonder about how it's gonna work with you two living in the same neighborhood. Shut up, Liv. <laughs> it's not the lake house. No, but that's not where I need to be right now. Need a dog walker? I know a girl. Mm, I bet you do. She's great? Uh-huh. What? Slut. <laughs> she was nice, but my heart belongs to you. Yeah, whatever. You know it's true. All right, I gotta go. You know where I'll be if you need anything. And I've got spare keys, just in case. Thanks. You know, she may actually be a good dog walker. Maybe. You know, you suck for leaving me alone at CBN TV. But I do still love you. Well, for the record, you were the best camera operator slash research assistant slash drinking buddy <laughs> ever. <laughs> what can I say? Natural multitasker.
My last story was difficult. The dog fighting ring. This is the catalyst for your retirement? Yes. Yes, it is. What happened? I... People got hurt. What we saw in that... I'm sorry. Your work on that story led directly to the arrest of the criminals behind it. But we understand you're still receiving threats on your life. I... There are still criminals that are out there. I can't comment on that. Was the case resolved? Have you always been an animal crusader? When did you decide to adopt Josie? I'm sorry, excuse me. you have done differently? At this point, I don't know. Have you always been an animal crusader? When did you decide to adopt Josie? I've always loved animals, dogs especially. I rescued Josie right after our last story aired. <laughs> Josie? Josie! Josie! Josie, come! Thank you. She's beautiful. She likes you. Well, I'm a dog walker. Maybe she can sense it. Oh, do you have a card? I do. Actually, one of my clients just uh, moved out of town. I've got a spot open if you're interested. I'm Samantha. We just moved to the neighborhood. Will. So I can come by, let me know a good time. That would be great, actually, because I start a job this week. 680 Stadia? How does uh, 12 p.m. sound? How did you know that? Uh, Josie's dog pet. Right. They're new. That's understandable. The city's full of weirdos. I've got a ton of references if you... No, it's, it's okay. I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, see you tomorrow. Exactly 60 seconds. Geez, you have a time down to the minute? Kidding. I hope so, because that would be really creepy. Well, maybe it's a little true. How are you settling in? So far, so good. Thanks for the flowers. What flowers? The flowers, they're so pretty. It wasn't me. How'd they get in here? You're the only one with the key. Calm down. I'm just kidding around. Of course it was me. Later, asshole. Come on, it was a joke. Oh, God.
Hello? Hi, Samantha? Samantha? You still there? Yeah, sorry. Warren, Editor-in-Chief at the Gotham Weekly. Hi, how are you? I'm excited. The whole team's eager to meet you. Yeah, me too. Yeah, so we'll see you Monday. Hey, do you mind my asking what you think your first piece might be about? You know, I, I haven't decided yet, but I'm getting really close. Okay. Well, I look forward to hearing your plan. <laughs> Welcome to the city. Yeah, see you Monday. See you Monday. To me. I thought I was being followed. I think you're good. Come on, I'll walk you home. Thank God you're here. My faucet's running like a virtual river. Samantha? Sorry, you said it was open, so I thought. I thought you were. Oh, hi, Jason. These are for you. But I'm going to hand them to your mom for now, OK? You have a friend for life. Who's this? This is Will. My dog walker. This is Jason. He's a friend of mine from college. You do a background check? Jason. Did you? Jason, stop it. I'm sorry. It's OK. Your protective friends are a good thing. Hey, I normally like to go for a walk with the dog and the owner before I get started. Is that OK? Just give me one second. Jason? Yeah. We're gonna take Josie for a walk. You okay in there? Jace? Yeah. Let's go. Asshole. Fuck! Is Jason a close friend? We dated in college. He still holds a torch for you? I don't blame him. We were good once, but there's a lot of baggage, mystery. Somehow we managed to still stay friends. So what brought you to Manhattan? 
I needed a change. How about you? Stars aligned. Someone once told me New York City chooses you, you don't choose it. <laughs> it's so true. So what's the new job you're starting? The Gotham Weekly, it's a column. Oh, cool. What's your first piece gonna be on? Still deciding. I should, I should head back. Okay. So, I'll see Josie on Monday, and unfortunately, not you. Oh. Extra set of keys. Thanks. See ya. Bye. You've got to be kidding me. I totally got the grown-up feeling. For your dog walker. Yes! Does Jason know? Know what? That you want to do it with your dog walker? I didn't say I want to do it with the dog walker. But you should. <laughs> oh, and please don't bring up Jason. Why? He got so weird when he met Will the other day. I mean, given your history, Sam, it is a little fast. But why not? Hook up with this guy. I just might. Good. <laughs> I just wish Jason wasn't so... What? Obsessive, weird, I don't know. He'll get over it. Don't worry about it. What are the most urgent needs for the shelter right now? Definitely money for supplies, food donations, more volunteers, in that order. We get pretty busy in the, the summertime because people go on vacation and then they decide that a pet doesn't fit their lifestyle. It's awful. It is. Even though we can't really handle them, we have luckily partnered with a shelter upstate. I've never been, but uh, you should definitely go up there and check it out. There's a ton of room for the dogs to run around and play. Uh, the dogs that we have a lot of trouble adopting out of here, the pit bulls and the older dogs that people don't really want. Pit bulls? Oh yeah, lots of pit bulls. It's basically kind of like a camp, but for dogs that are pit bulls, at least that's what the owner says. Hmm. I'll give you a call if there's anything else. Yeah, no problem. Hi, Will. Hey. What are you doing here? A column, maybe. I haven't decided yet. You should totally do that. Yeah, totally. I uh, told her about your shelter upstate. She wants to go and check it out sometime. Well, the shelter's not open to the public yet. You. You know that. Yeah, right, I totally forgot. Sorry. How are the walks going with Josie? Great. She's beautiful just like her mom. You know, Josie actually confided in me. Did she? Mm-hmm. Yeah, she said that you wanted to go to the movies with me. Is that right? So, now I know all of your secrets. Mm-hmm. Where you go? I am not so sure about that. I don't care. It was a good movie. You're only saying that because Hugh Jackman was in it. Exactly. That's what makes it a good movie. Yeah, jury's still out on that one. <laughs> hey, listen, do you want to grab a nightcap? Your place? I'm seeking yours. Okay. Samantha? Liv, hey, hi. What are you doing here? Probably the same as you. Hugh Jackman, should have known. This is Will, my dog walker. Hi. Hi. Nice to meet you all, Liv. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Why don't we go back to Samantha's for a nightcap? Um. I actually just suggested that. Great, let's go. So you're a dog walker? Yeah. You doing that a long time? Not really. And what made you get into that? 
I like dogs. Oh, well, I like dogs. Well, it's funny you guys have that in common. Yeah, you look so familiar. I feel like we've met before. You from New York? No, Midwest, actually. Oh, okay. Ladies! Over here knocking? Why start now? Can I get you a drink? No, thanks. Excuse me one second. Hey. What is he doing here? What do you think he's doing here? He's having a drink and he's socializing like normal people do. Stop making this weird and let go of me. I don't trust him. Why? Because I like him? You like him? I do. And maybe it'll be good. And maybe he can keep his dick in his pants unlike you. I made a mistake, Sam. We were young. We were. Excuse me. For a sec. Mm hmm Jace. You have to let, let go. Yes. I'll never let go. Is everything okay in here? I'm sorry. Jason, she's just leaving. for a walk. How do you like your coffee? I have to get to work. <laughs> it's okay. I'm not offended. Talk to you later. Absolutely. Have a great day. See you soon. So, Jeffrey, what do we have? What? Tara? I'll need to interview a few more trolls, but the piece is coming along great. Mark. The designer's having a small runway down in the village on Wednesday, so I should be submitting by Friday. <sighs> what planet am I on? Samantha. I hope you're gonna tell me you're picking up on that dog story. Yeah, it's still hot. People wanna know what happened. If you don't want to, you don't have to. No, I, I am. I will, I'm doing it. Great. Let me know if you need anything. Okay, folks, till next week. Great. Right. Samantha, it's such a pleasure. I came here to apologize. I, I have to get this off my chest. I love you. What? Just hear me out, Sam. It's always been you. When you came to the city, I thought there might have been a chance we... I'm sorry. Are you done? No. I have to warn you about Will. 
What? He baited Josie. The day you met him in the park, he baited her and tricked you into hiring him. What are you talking about? I saw him. What were you doing in the park? That's not the point. Oh, God. I saw him. Sam. Sam, listen to me. We can't be friends, can we? Sam. Listen to me, Sam. You gonna file a police report? Yeah. I mean, there's no sign of forced entry. Nothing's been stolen. It's vandalism. I'm not sure the cops are gonna take this too seriously. Why is he doing this to me? Jason. He had a key. He might have made spares. I've gotta get those. Let me take care of that. He came to my work, Liv. Well, we can talk about that later. Where are your pills? In the bathroom. Samantha, we've been trying to get a hold of you all day. Sorry, I, I don't know what happened. Yeah, well, I have a pretty good idea. It's not what you think. Were you planning to come into the office today? Yes, of course. I'll, I'll be right there. May, may I be frank? Of course. You don't sound very good. You know, when we took you on, we had high expectations. Warren, I promise this is not what you... You do remember that the deadline for your first column was today. Yes, and it'll be on your desk by the end of the day. I hope so. You know, I have a great deal of respect for you as a journalist, but if this type of work, this new pace is not for you, I suggest that you move on. We need inspiration, not another self-medicated ex-guru. Warren, I assure you that I'm 100% committed and this won't happen again. Send me the story by end of day and don't bother coming in. Okay, thank you. Uh Oh, 
Will, you scared me. You had me booked for today, right? Samantha, are you okay? Yeah, it's okay. Can you take her, please? Of course. Come on, Josie. Sorry about earlier. Really had no idea. It's okay. I'm not usually home in the afternoons. Are you okay? You don't seem like your usual self. What's my usual self? Well, your beautiful smile's missing and. and, and okay, okay. Need a hug? Actually, I do. How about a hug and a coffee? Second day? You want it to be? Give me a second, okay? It's frozen. It's frozen. I'll just deal with it later. Well? Well? Sorry. Ready? Yeah. I guess it was sent. <gasps> He's gonna love it. He's gonna love it. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Samantha? Yes? Oh, hi, Ward. A word? Oh, sure. I'd like you to explain this piece of crap. what I wrote. Well, that's funny. It was attached to your email, so I can only assume it was your writing. I would never. You can take your stuff now or have it picked up tomorrow. Somebody else wrote that. I usually have excellent judgment when taking on new writers, but in your case, my instincts failed me. Seriously, I... Seriously. Seriously. It's the end of the road for you at Gotham. Goodbye, Samantha.
That's what you do, huh? Well, I fell for it. Samantha. Samantha, wait. Don't come near me ever again. Sam. So, so sorry. You were right about Will. I'm such an idiot. I should have trusted you. Hey, it's okay. What happened? I pushed you away, but I... Samantha, are you okay? Sam, what's up? You look upset. Really bad day. Come in and have a drink. I'll float. Whatever you need. I think our beautiful friend here needs an early night. It looks like she's had a rough day. You want me to come over? Oh. I'll see you later. I'll let her go. I think she needs some time out. Trust me, I know her. Come on, why you making me Manhattan? Thanks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you need to see this. Look at this. Cool. When was that? Last year. <laughs> I remember that. They uh, cut me from the team, so I went to heckle them. What are you doing? Something I should have done a long time ago. <sighs> what? No, why would you ruin our friendship? Ruin our friendship? You want to talk about ruining friendships, talk to Sam. Don't bring Sam into this. You are pathetic. She won't forgive you. She jets off with the first guy she meets, a dog walker. And here you are still holding a torch for her. I think you need to leave. Jason, I'm sorry. It must be the alcohol. I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have done that. Please, can we just keep this between us? I'm in love with Sam, you know that, right? Yeah. Take care of that. <sighs> Nothing happens with live. I know you don't care, but I need you to know. I care. But you don't believe me. I'm here to install a security camera. Yeah, come in. Security camera? This building's safe. I made sure of that. I lost my job, Jace. Where do you want the camera? Anywhere you think, just not somewhere obvious. 
Somebody tampered with my story on the dog shelter. They had to have had access to this apartment. I sent it in without checking it, and the document got changed. I got fired. Why didn't you tell me? Because I thought it might have been you. When are you going to start to comprehend I know that it's I'm. It's not you. I s promise. I promise. Miss? Yes? You say you want a camera installed? Yes. Well, you already got one. Blacked out. Have you eaten anything today? I don't remember. Samantha. Sam, I've been looking for you everywhere. Sam, what's going on? Didn't you see Will? The dog walker? Sam, there's no one else here. It's just you and me. Come on, let me take you home. I know, this sounds crazy. But I heard you lost your job, and I wanted to see how you were doing. Losing my job isn't the half of it. This was installed in my apartment, and someone's been watching me. Holy shit. Someone other than me planted that in my apartment. Well, are you sure it wasn't the people who lived here before? They had to have had access to this computer. It's the dog fighting rink, I'm sure of it. Did you tell the police? <sighs> oh my God, Sam.
Samantha Will is out there. It, he was there. I swear, he was just there. I filed a police report against Will today. I saw him in the park baiting the dog. he can't get in here and you file the report listen about Jace it's fine yeah you told me nothing happened he did yeah are you in love with him <laughs> isn't everyone in love with him no I was just I was drunk that's all I was just drunk She knows your game. Don't come near her again. What? Where's the fucking key? What? Where's the key? Right pocket. <laughs> Sam filed a police report today. Expect some visitors. I'll let him know that you assaulted me. Have fun with that. It's Will. I'd bet money on it. And why would he just randomly show up to the shelter when I was interviewing that volunteer. Let the cops deal with this. This is too dangerous. I have to go back. Sam, the shelter should be able to deal with... I'm not going to the shelter. I'm going to the warehouse. Then I'm going with you. After what happened to you in that place? No way. I'm going there tomorrow, and I'm going to get some answers. What did you think you were going to find here? I'm going to expose you. For what, exactly? Stealing those dogs for fighting. See any evidence of that? I was here. They were dead. The dogs just left here to rot. I didn't know anything about the dog fighting that was going on. But because of you, I was arrested, questioned, and accused of everything. I'm pretty sure you're the one that ruined my life. What I'm saying is true. Because the entire time those sick assholes were illegally running dog fights on my property, I was living out west. Police investigated it. You can check with them. Wait! How do you explain being here right now? Are you following me? Your investigative skills are getting a little sloppy. I own the place, an inheritance. I check on it when I come up to work at the shelter. The shelter that's not open to the public? 
the one that you send the pit bulls to? The shelter's two miles from here. I opened it after the sting operation. You know, after I got out of prison for being innocent. Wait! You tricked me into hiring you. Sleeping with you. An attraction? A coincidence, then curiosity. All of a sudden, I'm face to face with the woman who put me in prison. I ended one of the biggest dogfight rings. I was collateral damage. You had to blame someone. And guess who? I saw you bait a dog in the park. You are a sick stalker. A runaway. Samantha. I'm a lot of things. I'm not a stalker. But the break-in. The camera in my apartment. If it wasn't you, then who was it? Someone wants to hurt you. And it's not me. You're the investigative reporter. Figure it out. You had to have known I was innocent. You left everything pinned on me. I didn't know. Liv getting hurt. I just let everything go. I never followed up. That story broke me. Me too. Josie? 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 Jason, it's Samantha. Are you out walking Josie? She's not here, so I'm assuming you're with her. Call me. Who else other than you has access to the apartment? Just Jason. Is there no one else you can think of who would do this? Is a chance, but I don't want to give you false hope. Um, in the event of a worst case scenario, is there? Do whatever you can to save her. Okay, I'll, I'll give you a call as soon as I can. Please. We'll increase the presence in her neighborhood. Make sure you're safe. We'll be in touch. The evidence bag is tagged and documented. Do you want me to bring it to tech?
Dr. Robinson. This is Samantha, Josie's mom. I was just wondering how she is. Uh-huh. Okay, I'll be right down. Thank you. Somebody tried to kill Josie and her in the bathtub. <laughs> Will you come to the vet with me? I don't want to go. Okay. Okay. Oh. I didn't know you got a cat. speak to Liv Crenmore, investigative division. They terminated her position when Samantha Jones retired. That can't be right. Liv said... Liv Crenmore no longer works here. Before you die, you can experience the consequences of your actions. Oh, it's poor pathetic Jason. He's trying to comfort you or some bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you'd call. Police are on their way, Liv. You gotta stop. When she's been punished. I swear to God, if you touch her, I'll end you! Trust me for once, would you? Do you know what day it is? <laughs> it's Kill Samantha Day. <laughs> Shut up! I lost 
my fucking face following you into this dog fighting ring. This is the best the doctors could do. They're forever, Samantha. Your gift to me, you selfish bitch! <laughs> you know if I can go back. But you can't, can you? So I'm gonna give you some scars before you die. <laughs> You took something I love. I took something you love. <laughs> Jason. <laughs> <laughs> Watching him pathetically following you around in college after he made his little mistake. You? Me. <laughs> <laughs> All units, all units, 1034 in progress. Suspect is inside the building. Location, 60 S. Levelo, the Bronx. Repeat, 60 S. Levelo, the Bronx. Samantha! Sam! Sam! This is ESU, truck 13, it's fine to 1034, armed suspect, hostage situation, Sam! ETA, approximately three minutes. Suspect is armed, white female, uh. dark brown hair, 5-5, five, five. armed suspect. Possible hostage situation in progress. Where? Get off me! Help me, get off me! Go, 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 go. I've often wondered about the honesty of dogs, so pure and undisguised. Dogs can't choose anything but honesty. Trust is different. It is earned. We, the most evolved creatures of all, are so easily dishonest, and we choose that. Dogs cannot. Honesty and trust could be lovers of the most passionate kind where the creeping malaise of one disintegrates the other. We move through life convincing ourselves of our honest intentions, selling ourselves as honest human beings. But one need only watch dogs at play to know the real purity of what it is. When honesty turns on itself and distrust takes over, isolation becomes the new normal. And yet, the urge remains to jump in once more, to trust again. Will I?